math today we are going to work some problems on volume and surface area and this is part of the seventh grade um, year in review so this one is finding the volume of a right triangular prism so we have a right triangular prism that measures 4 by 10 by 15. So we have one side that's 4 meters, one side that's 10 meters, and we have a right angle right between those, and the hypotenuse is 15. We also have the height of this prism, which is 14 meters. So now, how do we find the volume? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the surface area or the area of the bases. Well, the bases are the two sides that are parallel to each other. And in this one, those are the triangles. So we have to find the area of a triangle. So I'm gonna come down here and redraw it. This is four and this is 10. So we're gonna use these two legs to find the area. And the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So one half, on this case, the base is four and the height is 10. So one half of four times 10, that's 20 square meters. And that's the surface area of the base. Then I take that surface area of the base, that base area, and I multiply it times the height. So this is now 20 and our height is 14. So 20 times 14 is 280. And that's now volume, so I've taken a meter squared times a meter, and that makes it meters cubed. And that is how we find the volume of this triangular, right triangular prism. Now we're going to take that same right triangular prism, and we're going to do something a little bit different with it. We're going to find its surface area. So we need to analyze this shape again, but thinking of it, in terms of just the surface area. So the surface area, we're going to find the area of both ends of the triangle. Well, we just found those areas. We drew that triangle here and we said it was four by 10. Well, what's the area of a triangle? It's one half the base times the height. And we said one half of four times 10. That is going to give us 20. Now, that's the surface area of one of these triangles. But guess what? I have two of those, one on either end of my prism. So I'm gonna take that 20 and I'm gonna double it. So that surface area of my two triangles is 40 square meters. Now I need to look at the at what we call the lateral area or the sides of the prism, okay? To find that area, we're going to add the perimeter of the base. So it's the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. So let's find the perimeter. The perimeter is 4 plus 10 plus 15. So 4 plus 10 plus 15. And that's going to give us 29. And that's the perimeter of the base. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to multiply it times the height of 14. Now that one's not as easy to do in my head, so I'm going to grab my calculator. And I'm going to take 14 times 29, and that gives me 406. So that's 406 square meters. Now I have the two end caps, these two ends, that are 40, so let's add those together. So 406 plus 40 gives me 446 square meters. And that's how you find the surface area of a triangular prism. So let's recap that. You're gonna find the area of the two triangles. So find the area of one and double it. And then take your perimeter 
times the height, and that gives you the lateral area. And you add those together to find the surface area. So those are the first two. Now we're gonna switch shapes. Now we're gonna try to find the surface area of a square pyramid. Now the square pyramid, I'm gonna draw what's called a net. Okay, now what a net is, it's taking that three-dimensional object and laying it flat. So if I lay this pyramid flat on the ground, I have a square in the middle and these four sides lay down as three, as four triangles. So what I can do is I can find the area of each shape. I can find the area of my square and the area of one of my triangles and then just multiply that by four. So let's break this down. Okay, the area of the square is pretty easy. It's just an eight by eight square base. So the square part is just gonna be 64 square inches. Now let's look at our triangle. Our triangle, the face of it has a height of 10. The base of it was already given as eight. So I'm gonna take to find the area of one of my triangles, one half, the base, which is eight, times the height, which is 10, and that's 80, half of 80 is 40. And 40 represents the area of one triangle, but I have four of those. So I'm gonna take four times 40 to get the area of my triangles, and that's 160. Now I'm gonna add the square to the four triangles. Let's see, four, that's a 12, carry the one. So that's 224 square inches for my surface area. And again, I think drawing the net, which is that shape, just taken and flattened out, is the easiest way to look at that one. Okay, now we're gonna look at that same shape. But it says, if the square pyramid from number three, which is the last problem, was painted on the outside, not including the floor. What would be the surface area of the painted area? Okay, so what would be the area if we took the floor out? Well, our answer in the last problem was 224 square inches. Well, if we want, don't want to paint the square bottom, we're gonna take that area and subtract it. So what are we gonna subtract? We're gonna subtract the area of the square. Well, the area of the square was eight by eight or just 64. So what's 224 minus 64? And that ends up being 160 square inches, which is the area of the four triangles that we added up. So there's number four. Now let's look at the surface area of a triangular pyramid, okay? So a pyramid always has a point at the top. So this is different than a prism because a prism has two parallel bases. This one has what we call an apex, which I'm trying to do it so you can see has a point at the top. So this one has a point at the top. So that's why this one's a pyramid and not a, a prism. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the surface area of this triangular prism. And because each side is different, I'm gonna have to work a little bit harder to find this surface area, okay? So let's find the area of each side separately. So this first side, I'm gonna draw this, this side, I'm gonna highlight it right here. This is eight is the base and the height is right here and it's given as 22. So I'm gonna draw that over here. So eight and 22. So to find that area, I'm just gonna take one half the base times the height. One half of eight times the height of 22. So let's take that as 0.5, which is half times eight times 22. And that gives me 88 square inches for that first side. Okay, now let's look at this side over here. Okay, this side 
has a side of 23 and a base of 10, and we don't know the surface area of, we don't know this height. So we're gonna have to work a little bit to get it, okay? So this is 10 and this is 23, and we don't know this height. So I'm gonna draw an altitude down and we're gonna use 23 and that means this side has to be 23. This is an isosceles triangle. So that's gonna split that into five and five. And then I've gotta use the Pythagorean theorem to find this height. So let's take um, a squared, which is five squared, plus b squared, which is our height that we don't know, is equal to c squared, which is 23 squared. So let's see, 23, we're gonna square that. We're going to subtract 5 squared, and that's going to be 504, and I'm now going to take the square root of 504, and that gives me 21 or 22.4. So that is my height, 22.4. Now I can find the area, 1 half, the base is 10, and the height is 22.4. So let's multiply that together, 0.5 times 10 times 22.4. And that gives me 112 square inches. So now we've found two of the sides. Now we're gonna have to work even harder. So over here, I've now got this third lateral face. I don't know the base and I don't know the height, but I can do a little bit of math to figure it out. If you look, the base of this triangle right here is a right triangle. They're, we're given a right angle. So if this is eight and this is 10, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this base. So let's work on that first base. So eight squared plus 10 squared. Those are my two legs. That's 164. I'm now going to take the square root of that, and that gives me 12.8. Okay, I have a side of 23 and another side of 23. I've got this side over here was 23, and this side's 23. So I can now drop an altitude down and say this is now 6.4. It's half of it, 6.4. And I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So 23 is my hypotenuse minus 6.4 squared. It's 23 squared, by the way. And that's four, uh, 488. Let's take the square root of 488. And that will give me my height of 22.09. Now I have enough information to find this area. One half the base, which is 12.8 times the height of 22.09. So 0 0.5 times 12.8 times 22.09. And that gives me 144 or 141.4 square inches. Okay, so that gives me all three lateral faces. All I have left is to find the area of the base. Well, guess what? That one's easy. You know why? It's a right triangle. And this is 8 and this is 10. So 1 half the base of 10 times the height of eight, that's gonna give me 40 square inches. So now, what do I do with each of the triangles to find surface area? I add them up. So I'm gonna circle them. The first one was 88. The second one was 112. The third one was 144, and that little base was 40. So let's add those four up. 88 plus 112 plus 141.4 plus 40. And that gives me a grand total of 381.4 square inches for the surface area of that triangle. That was definitely a tough one. Okay, now let's move on. Find the surface area of a cube with a side length of seven. Okay, so we're looking at surface area. So let's first draw a picture because a picture is worth a thousand words. So you want to draw yourself a cube. So I have a cube 
and each side is seven. So the length, width, and the height are all seven. Now to find the surface area, it's pretty easy. If you think about a dice, how many sides does a cube have? It has six sides. Well, each side has the same area. So what's the area of one of these faces? Well, it's a square that's seven by seven. So one square is 49 square units, square centimeters in this case. So I'm gonna take six faces times 49, and that's gonna give me my surface area. So six times 49, oops, let's clear that. That's gonna give me 294. So 294 square centimeters is the surface area. And how did I do that? I found the surface area of one side and I just multiplied it by the six sides. And there you go. There's your review of surface area and volume. Thank you.